my god, what would we be if we were a a drag if we were a drag girl girl group? It's us two and other bitches that will do whatever we say. You're super fan and my super fan. What will we call the group? Our group? Mm-hmm. Mm, I like jewels. So we'd be the jeweled ghouls. Yes! We'd <laughs> be the jeweled ghouls. And welcome back to Pageant Perfection Season uh, 3. No bitch. If you don't, shut up. Shut up. Okay, you introduce. Come on, you introduce it this week. And welcome back to Pageant Perfection here at the Crimson Monastery, Season 3 of UK's Drag Race, Episode 4. <laughs> Oh, come on, she got okay. I was gonna say some shit because I was like, Oh, you always reading me, but you did, you did a good job. Okay, so welcome back, everybody. Sister, how are you? Uh, well hydrated, doing very well. Thank mm-hmm. you very much. How are you? I'm sister? good, I'm on fire. You know, the opposite of it, just cr- well, the crimson burning. <laughs> I'll be fanning over here for you. Come on, a little tremendous fire reenactment. <laughs> you know. <laughs> So, sister, Actually, my defense spell here. We're back on the main stage. Yes, sir. Back, and we're judging the looks of this episode, which was themed around girl BDE. Group. BDE, big drag energy. Big dick energy. Cool. But it does contain the unstoppable. Oh, come on. What did you think about the. Um, like, what did you think about the challenge? A little one, two. It was the first group was terrible. Second the group, first group was so terrible, and you know what? You would bad. think with all of like these top contenders in the same group would mm-hmm. be like a sickening performance. But sometimes having too much talent in one group is uh, not good. And Charity did not know what uh, girl group meant. She was like, "Oh, like I'll be the monster and y'all be the diva." Uh, you, no. Right? Exactly. <laughs> That's not how that, that, that works at all. And like the, it's like you said earlier, like her wearing blue kind of threw off the vibe. Yeah. Nobody wanted to give her. Hey, I have a. Blue. Here's some, white dress, here's some charisma, dress. something. And then let's also, Christopher Saji looked like somebody's mama. She looked <laughs> yeah, like the did. mama from Mean Girls <laughs> dancing in the aisle. Yeah, yes. She's a dance mom. I did like it with that bodysuit. That bodysuit and that wig. Girl comes out in a bodysuit and you were like, you would become the little Squid Games girl. Excuse me, bodysuit. So... Okay, so the category... Oh, and the second group was the oh, best, Oh, yeah, the second honestly. group was the best. They really missed an opportunity thinking Low Temple was bad. Right, so, and then this was like Theresa May's, like, you see, bitch, you pick me last and I'm in the winning group. Fuck you hoes. Stupid ass bitch. Puta por favor. Come on. I speak Spanish. <laughs> so, the, <laughs> the runway is Night of a Thousand Spice Girls. We do this thing usually on Drag Race where we're like, Night of a Thousand... Blah, 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 blah. Okay. And you usually do like, I want to say, and I'm going to, because I know the girls are going to say, you Crimson judges are so biased because of the thing. So uh, let's state it right now. This is each queen's interpretation of a Spice Girl. Would you agree, my fellow judge? Yeah. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, if we're going to box it down to that, then everyone's going to come out in a dress. That is true. Which so. gets boring real quick, so... It does. Okay, so with that being said, let's commence the performance with a trance. All right. I'm out of words Starting already. with <laughs> a kitty cat meow meow. Yeah, come on. Our first contestant. Charity Kate. Come on, Miss Charity. A judge favorite this and season. She, honestly, she came out in this interpretation of Scary Spice, and she came out as a fucking leopard Yu-Gi-Oh monster. Right, <laughs> which I was living for it. I loved the different like sizes and patterns of the leopard print like yes. throughout. My only thing, which is why I did not give her a nine, and why I'm giving her an eight, is because I okay. really wish she maybe had put like a hair piece with this. Oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna agree. I'm gonna also give her an eight because I do think she deserves a uh, eight. I'm gonna disagree. I don't think she needs a hairpiece, but what I do think is, I'm sorry, girls. Yeah, girls need to start wearing titties, girl. And uh, maybe oh. a little more cinch and maybe may a little more illusion. Maybe would have took it over the edge because the only thing I'm looking at is the cartoon, like spray paint. Ah, uh, yes. That's the, the one where the I'm abs like, and the titties on there. Because everything else is impeccable. The cane, the shoes. Like, I mean, I could clock the feet are a little hokey pokey. 
Right, but at least with the mm-hmm. uh, socks and stockings, it's also in the leopard print as well. That's true. But yeah, it's a high eight. But though. I wish there was like more of like an anthropomorphism, and they're like, I need some like. Well, especially... I think she did that with the mouth, to right? Be which fair. is why she needs hair, I think. Oh, okay, but anyway, I see. Right. especially when we compare to the tigress later on <laughs> in about the, this lineup, the Empress of the Jungle. <laughs> so next up, we're gonna have Teresa May, my Spanish taco eating sister in the oh, UK. Oh boy, man. Encanta Theresa May, but I know Encanta with this bodysuit. So I'm gonna let it be known now. Maybe but. I just am not very knowledgeable of the Spice Girls. Okay. And like, you know, right. I don't know of their iconic outfit. So I don't know if they have an iconic outfit where it has the Union Jack. But let me tell you something. I'm so sick and tired of seeing flags <laughs> as an outfit. Right. That <laughs> Oh girl, uh, yes. Not only <laughs> Yeah. Not only that, but let's also be real, this is a bodysuit. <laughs> It's very much like, look at what I am. This is what I am. This is what I am. What you give in this? I'm gonna give it a six. I <laughs> also gave this a six as well. Because it's very good. It's a Boba five. Because five would have been average. But this is very well done, I think. I love the top half of it. Like, the part where it goes around her shoulders and her neck. And then, like, the incorporates into the sleeves. Because I thought it was a cape. But it's part of the sleeves. And oh, it's I like also that, part yeah. of the bodysuit so as well. The only thing I would collect is the white tights. Oh Girl, gosh, you gosh. are going to the next dimension. She's a figure skater. <laughs> right. <laughs> so Teresa May, that's a nice little look. Next up, we have Ella Day, and she came out as Sporty Spice, I believe. Uh, yes. And okay, all right. The reason why you she's about to get a good score from me is because she did not just do two girls. She does not do two spices. Because other than that, this is the oh, yeah. scary the, spice and the, <laughs> the baby spice. <laughs> so literally. So because of that, I'll give this look a seven. But it was very like it's okay. Um, okay. It I was a to, good okay though. I got to see this walk down the runway without the jacket, and then now seeing it with the jacket on, it really just doesn't do it for me. Mm-hmm. Um, I also now that I'm seeing the shoes, I don't like. They're like, but I will defend that I thought they were flats, but they were a heel. That was the reason why I'm like, oh, that's a seven. I just she really, paid attention to detail. I just really like her bottoms. Okay. Everything else I felt was lackluster. Mm, what you gonna give her? A six. Okay. Oh, Miss Ella Day, she don't never get no. I, I always say feel like she's she always just solid. there. Like she's yeah, just there. If it was a little more, like a little push tweet. it, elevate it a little more. But I see it for you. Like I, maybe she will get us next week. Listen, She'll there was a, always that one time. Come, uh, the the girls love a silky redemption or a uh, Sonic Green moment. <laughs> oh, come, not Sonic Green. Oh, oh the Sonic love that, that was green such moment. A good, mm-hmm. You see Sonic, bitch. We can't stop talking about. We you. have to insert a picture here. So Hello. What I'm talking about. So, so next up we have Kitty Scott Claus. Skitty Scones Claus. Skitty the pretty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've grown to love her personality. She's very nice. However, your favorite shoulder pads have returned. Oh Lord. Again. And she is down to destroy the militia of the damned <laughs> because Let me tell me how like I get nothing like baby <sighs> spice vibes from this. I mean, like period, and I'm. And we're gonna see very clearly why in the next example. I feel like it's just because if she would have gave herself hips instead of this little cage. If she gave herself those ponytails, maybe this would have saved her. Oh my god, because this does look like Kitty in a short cocktail dress. Right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this a five. five. Ooh, I'm, I'm gonna sorry. give this a six, just because I think yeah. that at least this time around she has like this part. Uh huh. Um, one moment, yes. Get it together. She has this part on her skirt where, like, the skirt part is cinched, but then she has, like, this cage part that gives her a little bit more shape. So it's like, even though but she's I not cinched... This, but we saw this moving in the wrong way. And that cage did not do enough. I know. It, it definitely didn't do enough. <laughs> no. But at least she tried something, which is why I'm not giving her five. But anyway. Okay. Next example will prove why this is why you should do pigtails. Oh, Lord. And here we have Crystal Versace coming up next. Oh. <gasps> uh, uh. Looking like she is fresh off of like Bitch, the Aspen Mountains. This was stunning. This was gaggy. But I will be a little. This is an eight for me. I'm gonna give this a straight up an eight. This would have been a nine if, because you mentioned it when we were watching the runway, you were like, "What's underneath that coat?" And I hate that you did that because as soon as you did it, I'm like, eight. Hey, yep, you're right. It's just the coat." But it's so well done. But here's the thing. Why I also let it go. 
on the fact that this is just a coat is because of the pleating underneath because yeah. this is a coat gown i love that those fur the trimmings on the fur it's uh, prelaced so eloquent the only thing i will be a little bit of a stickler i see that the coverings for the legs it does not match it's like a darker blue than the the little yeah but it's and supposed to match this what really throws me off is these dark the blue blue yeah, I'll give it an 8, just because now we're going to be a stickler for her, because her, her mug ain't going to carry her. Let's be real, so I'm also give this an 8, which is... Uh, she does look like the only Baby Spice Ice Princess. Honestly, she, if there was one Baby Spice that we had to clear, like declare as a clear winner, I think it would have to it be Crystal be Versace. Because, ooh, she nailed it out of the park with this one. Next up, we have River Medway. As Ginger Spice. And this Pamper. Girl, oh, not Rugrats God. live action. <laughs> Nah. <laughs> Girl, okay, to be fair, first of all, y'all already know, out there, listeners, y'all already know what I'm about to say, bitch, why you got on flats? Well, 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 excuse me, excuse me, excuse she me. She do have these clunk and dunks on. Clunk and, and they're red. They're not even like, I mean, I they're black. I can't, I'm sorry, my fucking, my glasses weren't on. <laughs> Come on, glasses. Like... It's just also I don't really love like the hair skin. though. I actually don't like the hair. What? That's the only thing that's saving this for me. It looks like a giant blob, and then like the front kind of confused mm. me because I couldn't tell like for the bangs. It's, I like that because she's giving you a little X Men rouge. Um, like, it's not the... enough white though. Like if we're gonna be a stickler here. No, no, no. You're like, hey, you know the judges always have the critiques because they see something that the others don't. So especially, it's just for me. It's the transition from like this part into this braid into then this hair because okay. it looks like the back part of her hair is like a whole separate piece. This is like that thing that Cherie's and May tried to do a couple weeks ago. Or that you didn't like either. Girl, Let's stop doing y'all guys just do stop doing me like this. Stop doing hair crowns. Y'all gonna get a mask going. Uh, yeah, I gave her? her a six. Also because I don't like the shoes with this outfit. That's very nice. And I felt like this tank top here does honestly a five. I was about to say, girl, this is a four for me. Ooh. And especially because girl, you know, you, you're right, you're I, right. Like I'm oh, sorry, what? like <laughs> I'm sorry, like this is a four for me. Like, mm -mm. you know, and she didn't even like, she wore ankle socks with this. Like, the more I'm looking at it, I'm like, it, the only thing, and this is how you know we, me and you are super, because the only thing saving this for me is the hair. I don't give a fuck about the girl power thing looks, whatever, like, then the bottom of the pamper don't match the top, like, the top and the bracelets match, the pr top and the br bracelets match more with the shoes than the pampers, girl. I thought this was too basic of an outfit for me to be like, She wow. tried, you, she literally could have just worn a red pump, and it would have been better. You know, but something. But next up, we have Scarlet Harlot. The pseudo -wudo. Don't call her pseudo <laughs> I Don't was just it. very like brown and green. First of all, Bedroom Perfection, I, I you already know what I'm about to say. Get green, lime green at that. With cheetah print. I'm and, already throwing up. Right. This was honestly a three for me because this I was, was so a three confused. two for me. Put that down because I was so confused. With first this of one. all, this doesn't this black fur look cheap as hell? And it's it looks like a hint of uh, maybe it might be the stage lights, but maybe it looks my purple. memory of scary spice is just extremely skewed and fuzzy, and I just maybe just don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But I just didn't get anything. They all did the like they did the nut top, so I'm guessing that was her. But like. Did she do that? Cause that she tried. Do you see? Child, not past, not past <laughs> this fucking debutante hair, girl. Yeah. Oh, Miss Scarlett, you got threes across the runway today. I'm sorry. It was a no. I just didn't, I wasn't mm. feeling the dress with these boots either. No, I didn't like it. And lastly, we have the Tigress Empress of the Jungle. Come on, Vanity Milan came out in Tiger Executive Realness Couture. I've been giving Miss Thing, Miss Milan mm -hmm. Dupree, too <laughs> many low scores so far. Just because... I will be fair, before you even... Because, let me be honest with you. This for executive realness is baggy. So, if we're gonna something. be fair... If this is not just tiger print pajamas with a corset on... Yeah, also, this is not cheetah print. This is tiger. This is tiger. <laughs> we clocked. But this is why, like, if she... Miss, um... If she ha case had, also, like, fluffy hair in the beginning... When has the CEO of a company just been chucking up the deuces? <laughs> like... Peace. Don't you gotta sell the character, Jish? Right. I'm, I'm gonna give this a five. <sighs> I'll give it a six because I think that at least 
Like the cut was nice. I'm it was just say, baggy. This is one of the better outfits that, that she's, she's worn. worn. It's in my opinion. Uh, hopefully she brings it back just because. Sh- 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 so with that being said, let's tally up the votes. What we do we have got? a clear tie, actually. And girl, we are not surprised. <laughs> right, our two faves of the fucking season. Okay, so one here's... decided to just not wear a bodysuit today. So, <laughs> so we have Christopher Sachi and Charity Case, the girls, both are tied. So here, let's be fair. The category was Spice Girl. Right, I'm gonna give it to uh, Miss Christopher Versace this week. Right, because I feel Hers like was you just so sickening as Baby Spice. It's like you did the challenge. However, I feel like Charity did like a uh, great interpretation of it. Yeah, but it was like you skewed away so much that it's like that little point was what made us be like crystal that's what i just i really needed just a little bit more like humanization that links it now to... i see what you were talking about with the wit okay hello hello yes, would that I'm... have been a better like, like a big combination? curly at, like and then she would look like an anthropomorphic cheetah girl. touch not this is why I have the judge of reason on the show because she is here to tell me. Listen, I know you don't know taste, gesture. I, this I got is you. why. <laughs> this is why when it seems like I give queens a hard time for like having basic ass design elements, like Miss, uh, I think it was Miss Medway, the green, the, 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 red. the red. It's very much that. It's like if you elevate your outfit just a little bit more, like it could just be a whole sickening like look. But no, you came out in a fucking tank top and some <laughs> and, and sneakers. You some high schedulers. <laughs> you didn't even give us high socks. Yeah, ugh, girl. Well, that was the runway this week. Who won today? The um for this challenge, I believe it won. The tr- the group one, like Teresa May's group. Well, no, but who got sent home? It was between Scarlett and Charity Case. No. Oh, yes. And guess who goes home? Nobody. It's a double save. Girl, I'm so tired of RuPaul. I'm so tired of RuPaul. <laughs>